Hey guys, welcome back to Sean Does DIY. Now as part of my shop upgrade, one of the things I did was I built this uh, simple shelf unit. It's gonna go on the wall above the saw. Um, and of course, after I built it, I got looking at it, you know, before I put it up there, I was like, you know what? The saw is gonna be down here, so I think I need to put some doors or something, at least on these lower shelves, maybe keep some of the sawdust out of there, I don't know. Um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use these simple cabinet, uh, you know, frameless hinges here, and we're just gonna mount them up in here. All right, let's get started. I wish I had thought about this before I built it. You know, it would have been easier to you know, drill the holes and stuff for the hinges, but it is what it is. We'll make it work. Um, now, these are overlay hinges, so they are designed really for, you know, your piece of your, your cabinet door or whatever um, to go where it, it kind of sits. When it closes, it, it sits on the, the frame of the cabinet itself. Um, but I didn't want to do that. If I had thought about it before, I might have done something different the way I cut these inner little shelves and whatnot I could have made them shorter so it would sit in there but you know whatever but I really want to I don't want them to sit out like that I want them to be inset so they're flush with the frame of the cabinet or the, the shelf unit here um, so these will still work for that the only thing you got to do really is I think I'm gonna have to put some stops uh, on the inside here you know little bitty pieces of wood or something uh, you know not that big a deal but, you know it is what it is so anyways um, enough of that. Uh, so first thing you, you know, we obviously need to determine what size you know, door is going to go in there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the opening of my little shelf here and then I'm going to subtract an eighth inch from each side. So that will give me a sixteenth uh, you know, around the edges there and hopefully that should be enough. I could always shave a little bit if I had to. And what's nice about these hinges is they're pretty adjustable. You know, so once you get them in there, you can, you know, you can adjust the set screws, which we'll get into when I install the door, uh, you know, to make it flush and you can, you know, if you have to move it a little bit, whatever. Um, so, yeah. All right, so let's determine what size we need here. Uh, now these should be 16 inches or so by 12. Hopefully that's what it turns out to be in. All right, so 16. Yep, 16 that way, and 12 this way, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna cut them to 15 and 7 eighths by 11 and 7 eighths. And they should all be the same, so, yep. Perfect. So we'll cut, uh, I'll go ahead and cut three of them, and we'll go from there. Uh, let me see, where did I do with my safety gear? Set it down somewhere. Oh, there's my eye protection. Oh, it'll be nice to get the shop done and get reorganized so I know where everything is. Um, it's been kind of hectic. <laughs> with just stuff everywhere going, I don't know where I put that thing. It's in a shelf or box somewhere. Anyways. All right, so I'm gonna use this piece of uh, sanded plywood here. And so let's see, what can we do? We need 12. I think what we can do is, yeah, that should be plenty. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this piece to the 15 and 7 eighths, and then we can rip it down to the 12. Right, is that, what, is that how I want it to look with the grain and stuff? I don't know, let's see. So if I do that, that'll be the height, or the width rather. Yeah, that'll work. Cool. All right, so 15 and 7 eighths on the saw. All right. I just got this cool little thing um, the other day that I installed, and I'll talk about it more when I go over the over the shop when I'm done. But basically, it's a switch that I plug the shop back into and the saw into, and then when I turn on the saw, the shop back automatically turns on. So it's cool. Anyways, all right. Hopefully it works.
And then when I turn the saw off, it goes for like seven seconds, make sure it gets everything sucked out, and then it turns off. There we go. <laughs> so it's a pretty neat little deal. I like it. All right, so now we need 11 and 7 eighths. I'm just gonna rip them right here on this. It's a big enough piece. I'm not worried about cross cut and all that kind of stuff. So. Let's see. Looks pretty good. Yep. All right. So now we need to determine what we're going to do with these. So, you know, I just got these at the orange store. Um, you know, get them on Amazon or whatever. All right. And it came with these instructions. Um, with a little template you can, you know, cut out or whatever. I'm not gonna mess with that. Uh, I just went ahead and measured off their template, you know, what it is. So it's like five eighths to the center line of the big hole for the barrel part of this uh, hinge here, um, et cetera. So we'll just measure it and mark it, see what we come up with. So I just got to figure out where I'm going to put the hinges. All right, let's see here. Um, so we'll go 16 across, I don't know. I guess I'll do like three and a half in from each side, that's close enough. So a little mark at three and a half. I'm not terribly worried about, super accurate on that. I mean, it'll look close enough. And then what I did was I took my combo square here and I went ahead and set it to five eighths. That way I can just kind of come down here, make a mark, and then come on this side, make a mark at five eighths, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and do it for all of them. Now, as for the uh, the other holes, hold the screws and hold it on. I went ahead and measured those as well. So those holes are seven eighths from the center line and an inch and a quarter from the edge. Now, you know, I could go ahead and drill these and then put them in here and mark it, which I might do, I don't know. Perfect. Well, we can mark it now and see what happens. I'm going to mark one and we'll see how it looks. So, what I say, inch and a quarter down. Right there, yeah, inch and a quarter. So, I'm going to set my combo square to inch and a quarter. There. And I'm just going to make some lines here real quick. 
about where it should be. Enough. Seven eights. Seven eights from the edge. I'm going to mark this. So I'm going to speed square. Ah, I don't know. Seven eights. Seven eights. Seven eights. Come over here on the center line. Come over to seven eights. You know, depending on what uh, type of, you know, deal you got, what manufacturer or whatever, uh, you know, it should tell you what size of your hole is here. This one says, uh, somewhere on here it said what size it is. I don't know. It's one inch and three eighths, so whatever. All right. So now, you know, this would have been cool, like on the drill press, make sure it's nice and straight, but. I'm not too concerned about it. Let me get rid of this piece of scrap here. So, just gonna line her up. I don't know if y'all see. Should I move a camera? Let me move this GoPro over here. Ugh. Get all fancy. Let's see, where can we put this guy? Put it like right here out of my way. All like so. Like that, yeah, we can see it. Make sure that's deep enough. Not quite. So we'll make sure I don't go all the way through. So for these, we're gonna do a uh, like a sixteenth inch bit. Drill the holes for the uh, screws.
you could use uh, you know your driver or drill or whatever to put these in but I always just like to use a regular screwdriver for this kind of thing just so I don't accidentally strip it out Cool. That's one. And to get remark this guy at the correct down. Seven H down. Okay. And drill this one. Tiny bit more. Perfect.
turn off. And our door panel, which is this guy. There. So it'll end up sitting in there like so. And like I said, I'm gonna have to put some stops under it, but that's cool. where we need those holes. Yeah, about a sixteenth on this side. And about a sixteenth on this side. And what's nice about these is we can adjust them as needed. So what I'm gonna do just to make it easy for myself is I'm gonna mark on the top here about where the center of those screw holes are for the hinges. And then we'll transfer it down. Like that. So, now we'll just say, uh, of course I need to sand this door and all that. So I'm just gonna just find my little mark. Just draw on a little line there. And there we go. And according to this, it should be an inch and seven sixteenths. So let me double check. So I did that other one wrong. Let's see. Inch and seven sixteenths. Inch sixteenths there. And then we're just going to drill some holes on the sixteenth inch bit. Draw all the way through. Just enough to get it started, really. And hopefully, it works. It's been a whole lot easier to do this before I <laughs> put this whole thing together. But. And uh, eyeballing it here. Can always make an adjustment later. Tighten down. And 
throw a piece of tape on here so I can open it back up again until I get a handle on there. All right, let's see. Yep. Cool. Needs to be adjusted a little bit, but that's what's nice about those hinges is that you can adjust them. So yeah, I'm gonna have to put a little stop in there. So, uh, cause as you can see, it goes down into the door because it's designed to strike the frame and you know, and that's where it's gonna rest, but that's okay. So it looks pretty good. I mean, just, you know, like I said, a little adjustment. And we'll be good to go. Great. All right, so that's it. I mean, that's pretty easy to install these kind of hinges. You know, just take your time, go slow, be careful. Double check, double check your measurements. Um, and, uh, you know, then you can stain it, paint it, do whatever you want. So, cool, pretty happy with that. I like it, it's gonna look good. Boop. Yeah. So you have several adjustments on here. Uh, let me see what I do with my screwdriver. Oh, I dropped it down here. Okay, so, you know, you can obviously loosen up these two screws on each hinge if you need to slide your door, you know, left and right. All right, this guy right here, this one will move it in and out. So if for whatever reason it's not flush here, right? If it's not flush here on the, on the hinge side, you can adjust it so it comes up and down. And then this, this one right here, this screw, let me move my GoPro out of the way. So this screw right here will allow you to move the whole thing up and down, the, you know, the door up and down. Let me loosen up this other one. So you can, you know, if you needed to move it in and out so you can get it centered in your opening that way. Uh, that's what those are for. So, yeah. So these two move the door left and right, or in most cases it would be on a vertical, it would be up and down, right? Um, this one, these two right here, allow you to move the door this way so you can move it left and right and get it centered in your frame. And, you know, if you had to, for whatever reason, if it was kind of wonky, you can you could do it, you know, where this one side's up and one side's down, um, you know, make sure your door is centered in the frame there. And then of course this one moves your door in and out. So it'll, you can see it kind of moving out there. So now that, now you can be flush with your frame or whatever your door happens to look like. All right guys, well, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, that'd be pretty sweet too. Um, yeah. More doors and drawers and stuff. All right guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.